For certification, aircraft must withstand strong gusts of various frequencies, so a strong and relatively heavy structure is needed. Active gust load alleviation is an important technology for reducing loads on future commercial airplanes so that the structure can be designed to be lighter in order to save fuel. For the drastic reduction of gust loads, a highly reactive control system of sensors, control algorithms and actuators is required, which is not yet available. In this work, a highly responsive control system based on incremental nonlinear dynamic inversion is developed and applied to a future medium-range aircraft with distributed trailing edge flaps. It is assumed that the vertical acceleration of the center of gravity and the displacement, velocity and acceleration of the first wing bending mode are available as feedback variables. To allow comparability with other actuator and sensor setups, we abstract the actuator dynamics and sensor filter as control system time delay. The feedback gains are adjusted automatically to the control system time delay. The smaller the time delay of the control system, the more reactive the control system can be designed. In simulation, we investigate the influence of the control system time delay on the peak gust loads, Therefore, the wing root bending moment is computed. Here the dynamic wing root bending moment relative to the trim point is plotted as a function of time, it can be seen that, at least in the simulation, the load can be very strongly reduced for small time delays. The gust simulations with different time delays are now also performed for longer and shorter gusts. The relative wing root bending moment is now plotted as a function of gust length for different time delays, it can be seen that for large time delays the highest loads occur for the long gusts, for small time delays, the loads decrease and the load maximum moves to the short gusts. The solid lines in this figure take into account a rate limitation of the servos of 100 degrees per second, the dashed lines have no rate limit, resulting in slightly lower loads for the short gusts. In the future, we plan to use scaled demonstrators to investigate how much the loads can be reduced on real aircraft. Thanks for watching.